All right, YouTube, uh, I'm on Miller Lane here in Butler Township. Let's get a look at this very busy restaurant and business area, but not as much right now. This is, an, this is it's gonna be interesting to see what's gonna happen here as these, as things are allowed to reopen. Obviously the hotels are allowed to stay open, but Cracker Barrel, not that many people there. And uh, as many of these businesses are closed right now. And I think even after some of them reopen, and I think especially with a lot of the sports right now being canceled and postponed, I think sports bars are going to be something that's going to struggle for the foreseeable future. Right now. Courtyard Marriott, a couple Marriott's right here. Yeah, there's gonna be some tough times ahead for these businesses throughout here. I mean, some of them are open for carry out and some of them have closed their doors altogether. Tell even there's, it's about four o'clock and not that much traffic out. Right now, most of that is closed. I don't know why Flamingo Tan is allowed to even be open. That's not an essential business. Hilton, it don't look like there's anybody here on that side, but that could be. But I don't know. Oh, Charlie's look like. They're open, yeah, they're open to go and free delivery right now. But even Hampton in his suites, it don't even look like there's that many customers even there. So that's largely empty right now. And the thing I'm going to tell you this much too. It is my belief that for the servers at these places that are on unemployment, I think some of them may not be so anxious to want to return back to work. Because a lot of the business at places like O'Charlie's and Brickers down the streets is sports. So guess what? If there's no sports being played... That's going to mean a lot of money that's, you know, being lost, you know, a lot of customers that just are not going to come in. And of course, you've heard, it's been talked about sports and concerts are probably going to be as far as, you know, where people are allowed to gather some of the last things that are, where they're going to allow people to gather you know, once again, Asian Buffet, that looks like that might be totally closed right now. You have Red Lion Engine Suites. Wow, only maybe six or seven cars. So that hotel is largely vacant. So some of these rooms right now... Or some of these hotels are lucky if they even have 10 guests right now. So they're losing money. Yeah, Asian Buffet, it looks like they're totally closed right now. They probably are not going to be reopening until... 
the stay at home order is lifted right now Sam's Club is open that's essential because they do carry groceries there but it's largely bulk I hop if they are open there's barely anybody there but that's mainly a mainly a you know Eden place I hop so yeah there's gonna be these next six months especially for as I've mentioned especially for sports bars are gonna be really rough and I don't I just I have my doubts how many of these servers are even gonna even come back especially if there's no sports or or how many of them they're even gonna bring back when they're allowed to serve food in there once again when they're allowed to serve it where you can eat inside that's gonna be interesting Sam's Club looks like they're pretty full right now for the most part Skyline show you I mean all these places they're just dining or carryouts they cannot allow you to eat their food in there which if you have a place to go you know you just take it home but even then they have to be seeing you know downed numbers in their business because because people don't have as much money right now I'll probably end the video on the edge of the Walmart parking lot I'm not I don't think I'm gonna make a video inside Walmart today these this video and the other I uploaded are more than sufficient for today. Hooters is open curbside, but again, they're probably only operating with only maybe 20% of their staff right now. Frickers is saying they're open. It'll be the same thing, curbside service. Full menu online. We deliver through DoorDash at Frickers. And this is a pretty popular sports bar. And I'm, I'm, I'm very interested to see what's going to happen. Goodwill, they're closed. That's non-essential business. Great Clips, they're closed. So, yeah, there's some tough times ahead for... For these businesses for the foreseeable future. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen with all these for all these businesses but it's it's not going to be good people it's generally when there is a football game like Ohio State or whatever this parking lot is full not right now people El out back there and all this stuff is just carry out only great clips they're close Casano's they're open. Coldstone Creamery, I'm not sure. It looks like they are. That empty building over there, that was Tim Hortons. They closed many of their locations in the last several months. Order curbside. Take away at Door DoorDash. Order delivery with DoorDash.
Yeah, these places are trying to stay open, but there just isn't that many, not as great a need for the staff right now. With the dining, you know, being closed. And, you know, this whole coronavirus thing, this is going to be a story 10 or 20, 30, 40 years from now. Or even 100 years from now. As far as what to do with this whole virus thing. Yeah, Chipotle is open right there. jewelry place of course they they're not going to be open I don't think either the wine and chocolate or candy is going to be open either so yeah there's some tough sledding for these for businesses and people for the foreseeable future because of you know what's you know happened here the alarm I think I've seen some workers working on the back of this building back here Hawks Medical Service medical delivery vehicle Advantage Movers. I'm going to get ready to wrap it up on this video soon here. That you guys get a look at the parking lot of Walmart. Then I'm going to end this. And I'm going to end this video. And Walmart has stayed pretty busy during this whole time. Decent amount of people at Walmart right now, so I'm gonna wrap it up on this one.